You got a medicine bottle? Mm-hmm. I got that before I picked up my up. Butter. I don't do butter. You can have the spray. Don't snap. <laughs> Why am I getting hit, people? See? I can't even Don't do that. Don't snatch. I didn't snatch. I gave it to you. You And then you shoved it. <laughs> you shoved it at me. Well, you said don't snatch, so I shoved. <laughs> Be normal. I am a normal dude. Let me get uh, that jalapeno garlic. This kind of has a clocking mug. Tennessee whiskey. Whiskey. So Santos said he would get our pictures out later on tonight. At least yours and mine. <laughs> Don't post Jesus, that. Help me find my Martha label packages. So we're gonna talk about what Mallory did. We were here. She comes up <laughs> and she was like. Shows me the screen and she goes, how come my packages, you know, they no, can't find them at the post office. No, let's start over. And so no, no, I no. look at the screen. No, babe, stop. And it's so UPS. I, babe, let me tell the preface because this wasn't all the orders. There were two orders that came in from Morphe Label that were UPS. Now I normally do USPS. So when I was creating the, the shipping label for both of these orders, it was like two out of the hundred that came in. So it's not like it was all of them. Two orders that came through ended up being UPS labels. <laughs> I didn't realize. And so I put everything together in a bunch like I normally do and I drop them off at the post office. Now go. And then she come up, JT, why? I never call him JT. Uh, babe. <laughs> why <laughs> why <laughs> are my packages not being found I took like, them to the post office I'm looking worried. at it and I'm like like super worried like, I don't know you what can't happened. take UPS packages to the USPS store they have their own place that you take it to and that is probably why Because one girl was a new customer, and then another has ordered before, and she was an online client of mine. So I made her, well, she brought me aware of the situation asking where her package was, because normally Morph the Label does one to two day shipping. So if you're local, you literally get it sometime same day or early the next day, and then it's two days max. So she was like, hey, it's, I've ordered before, it's been almost four days, like where's my package? It still says it hasn't been dropped off. So I looked at it and that's when I started trying to figure it out. And so um, trying to figure it out last night, that's when I had a conversation with JT. And then this morning I was on call for UPS and everyone kept telling me to file a claim. So I'd go online and file a claim and then I would submit it and it would say claim could not be submitted due to, due to insufficient information or whatever. So I did it again you know, make sure all the boxes were checked, all the photos were there, all the documentation was there. Got kicked out again, saying it couldn't be submitted. Did it again, got kicked out, said it couldn't be submitted. Called UPS and couldn't get to an agent um, because they were like, a file has to be completed online. So I finally maneuvered my way to talk to an agent by confusing the automatic lady on the phone. What do you call them? Yeah, automatic people. Automated system. Automated system and finally like confused her enough to where she goes forward to get to an agent. Get to an agent and goes, okay, totally see where you tried to submit the claim. Click this link and this will take you directly to, you know, the claim that we look at. I said, okay, cool. I click the link. It's the same link that I filled out three times that wouldn't be submitted. So I thought, you know what, let's do it one more again to see if maybe she fixed it on her side. And it still came back. Yeah, the black came out to She said that one more again, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and it still said insufficient information or whatever. And I'm like, so I had to let both my girls. You know somebody's fed up when they say, I'm going to do it one more again. Okay? <laughs> one well, more again. Both of those orders, I mean, both of those girls had ordered at least, I think each was like four pieces, four to six pieces. And what sucks is that I, this collection nearly sold out 
and the pieces that they bought are part of, I have the sizes, but I don't have those colors. So what's gonna have, end up happening is I let both of them know that, you know, of a situation that it was definitely operator error and that I would either one, um, refund their, um, their order, the, the amount they paid either via gift card or I'll reverse it back to their card. Um, and then I will also be giving them like a discount code to use on their next purchase as a, just to say, I'm so sorry. So they're getting their money back however they want it, either in gift card or um, You told them cash. that before that they, before you tracked the package? No, no, no. I just, I just told them this like right before you walked through the door. Did you, is the package gone and lost? I don't know. So you're going to give them a refund? No, 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 no. I told them by Friday. Okay. If there's nothing on the tracking that says anything new other than label create, it's all it says. If there's nothing by Friday, because by that time mm -hmm. it would have been mm -hmm. eight, nine days. Mm -hmm. if, there's, if it still says label create, I'm going to count it as a loss and refund them in credit and credit their account. So, and it's on that, and if on that 10th, 11th day, that label changes, I'm be so mad. No, it's okay. You know what though? I want to do right by my people. I'm a small business. I'm, I'm trying to make it and in order to compete with bigger, larger, growing brands, you know, I want to make sure that I'm in constant communication with my customers, both, you know, good reviews and the bad stuff that happens and just try to build good rapport. Um, everything, I'm learning that in business, everything that goes wrong is just part of growing pains. Things you didn't think would happen or didn't expect to happen maybe early on. So we're just using this as a learning experience and I've learned a lot in this first year of business you're just gonna leave the chicken out you have any water in the car love you love you too we're both tired super fresh meals is taken off which Makes us very proud. Right, babe? Yeah, oh, Super Fresh Meals has really taken off. And it's been a very, very busy week. And so, both just very drained, but it's good to be busy. A little bit overwhelming, but it's good to be busy in business. You know, it means things are growing and you're in demand. So, nothing to be ungrateful for or anything. So, just it's been nonstop. But you know what? That's entrepreneur life. You know, you'll catch a break here in a little bit, but sometimes we just got to grind, take a little bit, maybe a, a breather, a little 15, maybe 30 minute breather and get back to it. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm having for breakfast and then I'm going to hang out with him for a little bit and then we're going to go to the gym. Okay guys, so right here I just have my half cup of rice and then about a fourth cup, about 50 grams of rice or so underneath this. Um, to be honest with you, I was just lazy and just want to microwave. I did not want to actually cook anything. So <laughs> this is breakfast. And then I have my morning tea right here. And then this is going to be my lemon water. So I'm just going to eat this as a little pre-workout meal. And then um, go train some back. I'm excited. I don't think I've trained back in quite some time. I think I've shown you guys a good back workout. So we're going to do that today. And we're just going to get the ball rolling. Revolutionary guy let out the streets. Locked in a cage, I'm going to let out the, let out the, let out the. Wake up, get out the sheets. We came for one man, forget my peace. You take the west, I'll take on the east. I'm going to put him in a cage, never let out the, let out the, let out the. Yeah. I hear him chat to the noise. Move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear him chat with the boys. Not so tough, but minds keep walking, yeah. Just too sharp with the prize. White girls better tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Hot like fire on the pan. If you want to touch me, I'm please use caution. Yeah. Beg, please get on your knees. Came from the jungle, up in the trees. I got a few tricks up in the sleeve. One wrong move, I'ma let out the let out the hood. Yeah, I, I am checked in the noise. Move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I am checked with the boy. If you want to touch me, I'm please use caution. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. So, uh, this one's a part two. We have to extend the beach into three exercises. Straight 
what is up you guys so I'm back in my comfy sweatshirt it's actually JT's um this is like the smallest okay. <laughs> well anyway so this is like my <laughs> third outfit change of the day um so you guys saw my workout and then I did go to the pool to do 30 minutes of cardio um I am testing that out as far as switching it up and swimming. So I'm like lap swimming and I'm treading water and um, I'm trying to do something different because sprints. So like, let's, let's get personal real quick. Okay, you guys. So I broke my toe, fractured it, injured it, whatever. I truly don't remember. I can't remember if it was college doing um, a back handspring or if it was with the spurs doing like a tilt jump or something. I truly don't know <laughs> where. I just remember doing something acrobatic like and I broke it. But now whenever I wear heels, my toe does not bend at one of the joints. So <laughs> it's really hard to wear heels unless they're platformed where my foot isn't like on the actual ground, forcing my foot up this way. Kind of need to be more at an angle. Um, so, so I say all that because I have just been kind of coping and it's been okay. And I did sprints last week at JT's boot camp class and I think I, I don't think I rebroke it, but it was bruised for about a week. And so running has just been painful. Doing like lunges has been painful. So I am just testing out swimming this week to see how I feel. And I did 30 minutes and wow. I'm, I'm definitely going to do that. Plus my pool is outside. So get a little tan while I'm at it. But anyway, you guys, so I just got back. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating for meal two. So this, I made this super quick, but this is about a cup of spinach. I'm just eating out of the spinach bowl because this is what I had left. So I'm just gonna eat this. This is three ounces of ground turkey and then there's half an avocado in here. And then I did just do, um, I forgot what the dressing was called. What's it called? Um, I am using this pineapple coconut mango tequila sauce. Revolutionary guy let out the streets Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the Let out the, let out the Wake up, get out the sheets We came for one man, forget my peace You take the west, I'll take on the east I'ma put him in a cage, never let out the Let out the, let out the yeah. I hear him chat to the noise Move too quick, can't stop for the talking I hear him chat with the boys Not so tough, but minds keep talking, yeah Just too sharp with the prize White girls, let her tell me I'm awesome, yeah Hot like fire on the pine If you wanna touch me, I'm please use caution yeah. Beg, please get on your knees from the jungle, up in the trees. I got a few tricks up in the sleeve. One wrong move, I'ma let out the let out the hood. Yeah, I, I am checked in the noise. Move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I am checked with the boy. Wanna touch my please use caution. Stop that. Stop that. On my wrist, baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford Seven. There we 
go. Eight. Keep coming. Nine. And ten. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm actually able to have some carbs since I didn't have some earlier. I'm really busy today. So here I have my, it's a little under 100 grams of rice and I have a little bit of chicken and ground turkey like mixed together. Um, just because I, that's the rest of my ground turkey and next up is chicken that I prepped. So we kind of did a little blend. I'm gonna throw some spring mix. It's a 50-50 blend of baby spinach and spring mix, arugula is in there, some lettuce. So we're gonna mix that in here and we're just gonna have a big old salad. No fats in this meal, just carbs. And then I'm probably gonna throw um, maybe some salsa or something on top. But guys, that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna eat this meal, finish up my water, and I'm gonna head to bed. Oh, I need to take my vitamins. Um, so, uh, vitamin D. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. Please comment down below what you think. It was a little bit different today. You know, we're back in structure, and you know, we're back on our meal plan. We're back in the gym. You know, we're taking classes and we're working and we're hustling and we're moving. So hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. I know my boyfriend has been making more appearances. So I hope you like that. You guys seem to really like when he comes on here. It will never be a couple's channel. It will never be our channel. It's my YouTube channel, but he makes guest appearances and you guys seem to really like that. So. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, I hope you guys have a great night, great day, great cardio, great workout, great chill time on the couch, wherever it is you're watching. I love you guys so much. Please feel free to like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see, any questions you might have. I love doing a QA. and a I think I should do a QA and a very soon. I haven't done one in a while. So maybe I'll do one. Maybe I'll do one for sure in the next couple of vlogs. But guys, we are six and a half weeks out. So, yeah, guys, six and a half weeks out from nationals and we got some work to do. I know I've been saying that, but we do have work to do. But my body, I just feel like we're, we're figuring it out. Um, you guys know that I've had some hormone stuff, so I'm just trying to get it back on track. So, I'm very excited. Things are moving up. But I really appreciate you guys watching. I love you all so much, and I will see you guys in the next one.